I've just been driving past corn all day. Today I woke up at 5.30, started driving past corn. I'm still driving past corn now and I'll be driving past corn until the sun sets. In some ways I did this to me because I signed up for a season long college football road trip, but you did this to me. And um, I look forward to see where you sent me next. I hope there is less corn. ready for the first full week of the college football season. I'm in front of some really large mountains on a really beautiful day in Utah because you guys sent me to Utah. My wife is here joining me for the first week of the year. Uh, she has to go back to school after this, but uh, she decided to come along to see what my life is like for the next four months. Go Cats! <laughs> So this is my guy, Ben Chase. What's up, guys? You went to 77 college football games last year. You're my inspiration. Oh, you man. did it bigger and better than I'm doing. No. I'm fired up for you, man. I told you when you reached out to me, like, I hope you guys tune in and watch everything he's doing. I'm, it's so exciting what he's doing. So what's your number one tip for how to pull this off? Just, like, be patient. I think that's what I like. Patient? Yeah, like, I'm serious. Like, you're gonna be on the road for a long time, but like sometimes it's better to take a step back and slow down and just soak it. Look at this. I mean, you got a live band over here. This is what it's all about. Take a step back and you know, you, you left your job to do this and like you're gonna have zero regrets and you're gonna be on the road sometimes lonely. I'm getting hyped up! And I'm getting hyped up! <laughs> I like both the football and the mountains. How do I not like fall asleep while I'm driving? Uh, honestly, for me, it was 3 a.m. boy bands, NSYNC, Backstreet Boy, Hamilton, and then uh, honestly, the greatest show. Have you ever seen the greatest show, man? Oh, yeah, they sing along. Yeah, they inject sing along into your veins. If the Gators make the national championship, I'll, I'll be there to buy you a beer. You know, you talk about the home field advantage in college football. This crowd is extremely loud. The air is extremely thin. I got pretty winded walking up these stairs. It's really underrated, both in terms of the beauty of it and the like competitive aspect. It's really tough to play here. Really fun to watch here. Thanks for the tip, Ben. Oh, the harmonic is so loud. So our plan was to go to five games in five days. It's becoming clear that we're not going to do that. I just don't think we have it in us to go to the Missouri State of Kansas game. We're going to stay in a hotel instead and sleep. Ultimately, uh, I think over the course of driving through the night, we realized that we're pushing ourselves just a little bit too hard and we might die, which is the number one goal, not dying. We'll go back to Kansas next week, so don't get mad at us. We're on our way there. It's, it's pretty beautiful. We made it! We drove across the country in two days. Uh, we are here at uh, West Virginia and Penn State. We drove all the way from Utah. We drove through the night on uh, on Thursday. Can you guys stop messaging him? It means I have to drive so much more. <laughs> it's a whiteout tonight. We're not really doing too well on sleep, but we're gonna try to be personable and talk to people. Love to see, love to see it. But they they are Penn State. It's just so beautiful. 
people to see two fan bases unite over what matters, which is eating shit fucking pin, baby! <laughs> I've never seen 110,000 people be friendly. I like to say you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. It's so great that schools like West Virginia and Penn State are playing each other. That's one of the things that makes this sport awesome is when you play teams from close by and people have a vested interest in both sides. It's also just nice to see people united. The thing that really matters, which is their mutual hatred of Pittsburgh. Eat shit fucking pin, baby! So that's game three. Hey, uh, so I just parked my car here in New York, a couple of blocks from my home where I live. Just want to recap what happened here. My wife and I went to a football game in Utah on Thursday night. Drove to a game in at Penn State on Saturday, and now we're gonna sleep in our bed at home <laughs> in New York City. <sighs> it was a lot. I will not be doing anything this ambitious for the rest of the season. This was sort of a week one special. Um, I'm gonna get some sleep in my own bed. I'm gonna go to Northwestern at Rutgers tomorrow. That was a really stupid two days. <laughs> Northwestern fans, and this is like the one game I don't have to drive to. Go Cats! So, I'm going to drink alcohol. I don't, I haven't been doing that in most of the games. Your name is? I'm Christine Lamont. I'm John Logan. And uh, we got fellow Cats fans, we got Red Rocks fans. You get the sense that you guys are actively worried about me? Well, you're driving all <laughs> you're over driving the country. All you were in country. Utah two days ago. Are you like supportive of my stupid endeavor or? 100%. Okay. I love it. I'm probably going to get a sunburn and not have a good time. I'm very warm and sad. You know, it sucks getting your ass beat at football, but I got to respect the Sopranos theme song. It's a good touch. Jackie Jr. went to Rutgers. People forget. Two nights in New York, it was nice to actually be able to sleep in my bed and see my dogs. Um, Sarah was the MVP of uh, the first week of Road Rod. She made it possible. I would not have been able to drive from Utah to New York in two days without Sarah. I'm going down to the Clemson Duke game, and uh, Perry's back, back in the shotgun seat. <laughs> So I'm here with Mike. Mike, you're wearing a shirt that says everyfbsstadium.com. That is because you are attempting to go to every FBS stadium. 134 of them. This is number 65, third of the weekend. Best stadium you've ever been to. Penn State Whiteout. That's like great because I saw how great it is, but it also, like I now have nothing to look forward to in life. <laughs> yeah. You seem really good at just walking up to people in parking lots and making friends with them. Yeah. I, how do, I, how do I make friends with people? Pink shirt with the blog is a conversation starter. Oftentimes people Google it, see like, oh, are you number 63, 65, whatever. The pink shirt is a conversation starter. You know what else is a conversation starter? What's that? Shirts from homefieldapparel.com. Use there promo code RoadRodge for 50% off. Everyone's been complimenting Roger on how nice this shirt is. Any tips for me going off on this journey? And the driving is just dangerous and it's long. Everyone keeps telling me how dangerous and stupid what I'm doing is. It's dangerous. I think you should mix in some flights just to uh, ease the cross country motion. Of yeah, the I'm thinking drive. about it after this week, man. I'm very close okay. to death. tail side of when there's about to be a big college football upset. The student section has abandoned the upper part and they are all massed right here. Oh, okay.
Hey man, it's my it's my first two football game. You think I should come back? Hell yeah! Most definitely, man. Most awesome, awesome, definitely. Man. It's awesome, season's about to be crazy. Season's about to be crazy. That's a good friend, man. It's been a crazy week. I am very, very tired. And it was worth it. It I I You knew we were rushing the field when we went to Durham today, baby. Let's go, Roger. Let's go. Uh this has been Road Rodge, game number five. Uh clubs in at Duke. So that was an alligator. That was an alligator. We're, get, we're gonna eat some data. Uh, how do I how do I eat this? Here, I'll just take a piece. Yeah. Delicious. How'd you cook it? Man? We uh, smoked it. <laughs> it uh it looks and tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> You shoot the squirrel, man. I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna. Morgantown, I would have killed that thing, but Pennsylvania can't do that kind of stuff.